going to be reporting for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Karen Hins and Jude Hill about the new film Belfast, which releases in theaters November 12, 2021. Karen Hins is known for numerous films and TV roles, including playing Albus Dumbledore in Harry Potter Deathly Hollows Part 2. Jude Hill is making his feature film debut in Belfast, which we are discussing today. Kieran, you grew up in Belfast in 1950s. How personal was this film for you? And what was it like shooting in Belfast? Um, the film is hugely personal to me. It's obviously much more personal to Ken Branagh, who wrote it. And it's, it's very much based on the memories of his own childhood. But there are so many similarities uh, of my childhood. Uh, we came from different stock, but the whole behavior, the whole scenario he'd written it, this type of people, the type of characters he made it, just uh, reminded me of all my forebears. And it really... uh, I related to it uh, very easily, very easily indeed. Your personal connection to this film really showed in your acting performance. Right. Well, I guess um, somewhere in the DNA, the ghosts of my grandfathers and my father are still uh, hovering, hovering about. And um, yeah, it's, it's also very nice for us to make a story from home that's based uh, on particular events, but that shows it in a very dynamic and loving manner. Mr. Hill. Mr. <laughs> Hill. <laughs> The story in Belfast is really told through Buddy's experience. How did you prepare for such a big role? Well, I remember just to get sort of into the mind of a nine-year-old kid uh, back in 1969 during the Troubles, I watched a few films and videos and Ken and you and Jamie Dornan shared a bunch of stories from their childhood. And that helped, that really, really helped me just understand Buddy that tiny bit better. Yeah. Kieran, your relationship to Granny, played by the incredible Judy Dench, is so sweet. Where did you draw inspiration from for the part? Well, first of all, I drew inspiration from the woman herself, Dame Judy Dench, who is a, a remarkable uh, woman and actor. Uh, amazingly instinctive, uh, funny, rebellious, and quite brilliant. Uh, that was the connection of the heart to her. And the other thing was something, a mixture of my, my own father and my mother's father. So a grandfather on one side and my own father had, I, I can't say similarities, but there were some essence seemed to me would be useful uh, to use memories of them uh, and uh, hopefully that would be okay with Ken as it was his grandfather and uh, I guess he just guided us in the in the right direction. Yeah and Judy Dench and you guys were amazing you had awesome chemistry. Uh, yeah well I mean Judy, Judy has chemistry uh, sort of just coming out everywhere isn't she? When you yeah. Her connection is immediate and it's dynamic. And basically, you better keep up and you better get connected because that's what it's about. <laughs> Mr. Hill, what was it like to work with director Kenneth Branagh on this film, especially knowing it was inspired on, but on his own story? Well, I mean, even just to work with Ken and all of these amazing actors, and as my first film too, is just, mind-blowing and it's, everyone's so nice and they really are my acting family and working with Ken he's such a really really nice man and you could sit down and have a chat and you could tell that he really knew that what he was doing and he's so good at his job and he does it 100 <laughs> percent well thank you guys for talking with me it's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Talking with me, Karen and Jude. Belfast release in theaters November 12, 2021. I'm Samantha B. reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel 
so you don't miss my next interview or one of those of my amazing teammates. Thank you. Bye.